Hello, fellow comic book lovers, collectors, and aficionados. Vin Crew here with his most current bitch, his back issue comic haul. And, uh, you know, in the last month, I, I probably got a, over a short box of stuff I'd like to show. But that's just too much to put into one video. So I'm going to break this up into two. This one is going to be mostly con stuff. I went to my big spring con. Uh, and anyone who uh, <clears throat> picked up some of my books through my sale, I really appreciate that. It helped me get some of these books that I've been wanting for a while. So, And I hope you guys were happy So with those purchases. But anyway, so I went to Spring Con and uh, picked up a few books. So we're just going to kind of jump into it. Uh, the first one here, this is Razor, the convention tour book from 1992. This book came out the same year... And uh, as Razor did, the number one, her first appearance. Now, if you're not familiar with it, Razor was part of the bad girl era in the 90s, which included Lady Death and She and uh, a few other ones that... Um, um, Don, Cry for Don, that sort of a thing. And um, Razor apparently has been optioned for a movie or a TV series. And with that being said, of course... Uh, everybody's looking, or not everyone, but people are starting to pay attention to Razor books now. Now, I'm not sure when this convention book came out, but it came out the same year as Razor number one. Somebody like Ira, Comics Quest, or maybe um, Comic Quarter 410, or Hero Hunter, um, not, you know, maybe Hero Hunter, but um, uh, Holler Mouse might know, which I I'm almost positive the Razor one came out before this, but we're talking just a month or two. And this book is not that easy to find. There's a silver version of this one too. And um, so, yeah, this is a very early appearance, if not the first appearance of Razor in comic format. So, um, long way around getting it around. But anyways, I found that. Yeah, I don't own number one of London Knights. I own some Razor stuff, but not a lot. So anyway, paid $5 for that book. I thought it was okay. Um, picked up, um, we'll do this one. Picked up uh, this one here, Fearless Defender. Sometimes I just pick up books because of the cover. Some I think there's some others like you that are uh, like that. Um, but this is nothing gr great. It's just a gorgeous Mark Brooks cover to Fearless Defenders number 12. I think I paid $2 for it. So yeah, I jumped on that. Uh, found some J. Scott Campbell stuff. Speaking of uh, collectible artists, that's the Hero uh, Initiative Benefit book. And then this is also another Heroes. This is from 2011. Both of these J. Scott Campbell books paid five or six dollars each for them. Uh, picked up Alex Ross. I picked up a uh, Battle of the Planets number one. This is the chromatic uh, variant to it. There's a standard non-chromatic uh, cover to this one, similar. But boy, when you think about this, Battle of the Planets number one had three different cover artists. There was this one, Alex Ross, J. Scott Campbell, and Michael Turner all did a cover for that particular series and issue. Man, talk about a trifecta of artists, huh? I do own, obviously, the Alex Ross, and then I own the J. Scott Campbell. I'm still looking for the Michael Turner. If anyone has a Battle of the Planets number one Michael Turner cover they'd like to uh, part with or willing to part with, I definitely would be interested in that. All right. Um, speaking of Alex Ross... I also love my treasuries, so I picked up this JLA uh, Secret Origins. This is a treasury format. This is Alex Ross. I don't know how we can... I always have to turn these to the side to fit into my camera angle, but is that not gorgeous, huh? Alex Ross doing... Plastic Man is in that one, too. That is just kick-ass. Plastic Man right there. But John Jones and Green Lantern, Superman, Hawkman, Shazam, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Batman, Flash, Green Arrow. Just really a kick-ass cover. Um, and uh, here's the back of it. So they always do back gorgeous back covers but alex ross did several treasuries uh and i do have most of them if not all of them now so i'm uh, pretty happy about that um i did this one. let's do this one i guess for a nice little change astro boy uh if you're familiar with uh i gotta give the nod to omega 13 is what the numbers come out to but it's like x11v or something like that um 
And he was the one who first brought this to my attention way back. And I've been looking for it since then, but have not had the luck in finding it. So this is Astro Boy. If you're not familiar with this book, this is, if you think of books like uh, Robotech and uh, Titan AI and uh, Sailor Moon and all these manga books that are manga, manga comics that are so popular today. This is the first American manga uh, uh, book, Astro Boy. Uh, this was uh, a character that was uh, created in Japan. And uh, Dell or Gold Key decided to do this as a one shot against or without their uh, approval in Japan. And they were very upset about how it came out. Uh, Overstreet lists this as scarce. Now, I've looked at places and done some research and um, listened to uh, Omega, and I've heard as low as 200 copies were printed, which is ridiculous in my opinion. I'm thinking more like maybe as low as 500 of these were printed. Very hard to find this book. So if you can find it um, for a reasonable price, I might suggest picking it up. People just don't realize how scarce this is. So, all right. Uh, picked up... Um, um, uh, Michael Turner, this is Soul Fire Zero. This is a, um, I think it's, I think it's an exclusive limited to 500. Might be wrong on that. And it really, you know, these Michael Turner Soul Fires that are limited to 100, 500, 250, don't get misled on them. They don't go for that much regardless of the, the low print run. Um, but just very, very cool to have it still nonetheless. Um, Found some Dave Stevens stuff, man. Really, really stoked about that. Found Jungle Comics number one. Love Dave Stevens. And then I found, I'm trying to get this off here. There we go. Now I can see a little better. Uh, Seduction of the Innocents. Um, this is the book that really introduced me to Dave Stevens back in the day. And I got to give a nod to comic or yeah, Comic Order 410 was the one who showed me this cover back uh, a few years back and uh, had to pick it up. So this is my second copy. So if there's anyone interested in this one, they can let me know. But I just love Dave Stevens. Man, he's a gorgeous cover. Another person I definitely enjoy the cover work of is Adam Hughes. This is Supergirl Rebirth. I did not pick this up when it first came out. So I was lucky enough to find it at the con. I paid two, no, I paid cover price, $3 for that. So, eh, not bad. Um, more Adam Hughes. Uh, Ferris number 31. This is a gorgeous Adam Hughes cover. Uh, just beautiful. There you got Adam Hughes right on the t-shirt right there. Very, very cool. All right. Now for, oh, I should have showed this with the other J. Scott Campbell books I picked up, but I was lucky enough to find another Ant number one. This is the Diamond uh, Retailers RRP or Summit or whatever they call those. Limited to somewhere between 500 and 1,000. Um, and this is um, <clears throat> J. Scott Campbell. And uh, this is a double. So uh, if anyone's interested, I do have this one and I do have a graded one. It's either a 9.4 or a 9.6. <clears throat> so if anyone's interested, just let me know. Sorry, I'm losing my voice here. <clears throat> found uh bill sinkevich uh, uh variant cover to electra number two very cool to have that some gabrielle del otto uh, i paid two dollars for this one this is ultimate origins number one gabrielle del otto wolverine variant Serena variants <clears throat> Um, was able to find another one of the X-Men evolutions or through the years. Uh, this is Hulk 33, but this is the Emma Frost or White Queen uh, cover. Just love these X-Men evolution covers. Uh, I'm trying to get all 14 of them, I think there are. So uh, getting closer. <clears throat> Batman, Grendel, uh, Ashcan. This is the gold version. There were three versions of this. The red, the gold, and the silver. Or platinum, I guess. Um, the platinum by far is the money book. The people that are looking for and uh, very hard to find. The gold being the second. And then lastly, the red is, is pretty plentiful. So, Sorry, just trying to take a drink of something here to clear my throat. Ooh, speaking of Adam Hughes, found this one. Uh, this is gra Marvel Graphic Novel number four. This is the sixth print. Uh, very, very hard book to find. Becoming quite sought after now because of the fact of the New Mutants movie, because it's a 
low print, six, six print, and Adam Hughes cover just becoming very, very sought after. So very happy. I paid $25, $20, $20 I paid for this book. So not too bad. Two bucks for this book here, Ultimate X number one. This is the one in 25 uh, gold, uh, silver foil uh, cover. I'm watching an auction right now on eBay for this book, raw, and it's up to almost $20 with a day left on it. So we'll see where it ends up going, but I paid $2 for mine. So I thought I did pretty good there, huh? <clears throat> uh, here's a couple more books that are current books, but I just weren't able to pick them up until at the con. This is Miss Marvel 17 with the X23 cover and then the Venomized Mighty Captain Marvel on uh, number three. So those seem to be pretty sought after books right now. So happy to find those. All right. Speaking of a book, I'm very happy to have and sought after Strange Tales <clears throat> 111. This is the second appearance of Doctor Strange, the Ancient One, and then the first appearance of Baron Mordo. So <clears throat> Very, very happy to have this. I mean, obviously, I'm never probably going to own a 110. If I do, I'll be shocked. But uh, to have a 111 is getting me pretty close to that. Um, so very, very happy to have that. <clears throat> Speaking of Strange Tales, this is 135. It's the first appearance of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, but this is the Toy Biz or Marvel... Uh, toys uh reprints so and i do collect those i do enjoy collecting them um moon knight number six this is the variant and i'm sure what the ratio is uh it was a cool looking cover and i picked it up to try to both those that strange tales and this one to try to fill in a, a quota if i could get so many books i could get them for a little bit less so uh, speaking of another cover that's popular right now that i miss picking up venom number six I'll have to admit, that is a very cool cover. Very cool. I picked, paid $2 for that one. So <clears throat> um, this one, I kind of got duped on, but <laughs> um, uh, it was my own fault. But to be honest, I'm okay with it. I paid $5. This is Bullseye number one. I thought it was Blue Beetle number one. And with that being said, I believe that that would have been the first appearance of the question. So yeah. I'm not sure what this translates into, if anything, but for five bucks, yeah, I'm not so bummed about it. I've wasted worse than that. But at the same booth, I also picked up for five bucks. Foom number five. This is from 1974. Beautiful Ben Grimm cover. And it's a buckler uh, cover, it looks like. So I love Foom magazines. I don't see them very often. I only own like three of them now. So uh x23 number two i believe that's a double so if anybody's interested in that one they can hit me up and number 20 or number 11 so uh just working on some x23 books uh picked up so uh, this is the um wizard half tales of witchblade uh this is the gold version and uh if anyone knows um has watched me for a little while i big into these wizard halves for some reason i'm not sure why but it's kind of a sickness i own almost a hundred of them now and uh, i have done a video on that so if you're interested in all the wizard one halves that were distributed you could check that out uh Speaking of that, I found a couple of DFs. This is the Witchblade Magdalene Vampirella number one DF limited to 500. What's interesting is if you didn't know, uh, Witchblade is being uh, rebooted apparently as a television show. So this was, Witchblade was a television show a few, back in the 90s, I think. Uh, but now they're rebooting it. So who knows? Um, and then I also found Tomb Raider number one, Scarface's Treasure, uh, limited to 1500 Kind of a sucker for these DFs if I find them cheap enough. I think I paid a two bucks or a buck a piece for them. So not too bad. Um, paid, I know I paid a dollar for these. This is a Avengers AI number one. I'm a sucker for Lego variants. This is New Avengers number three, the Women in Marvel variant. I paid a dollar for that one. Uh, the darkest, no, brightest day number seven. This is the white Aquaman variant. Paid a dollar for that one. <clears throat> dollar for this one. This is Uncanny and Humans. Is it number 11? 
um yeah number 11 it looks like uh this is the first appearance of mosaic who was hot for a while there i'm not sure i'm sure this is cooled down since then but never picked it up until now um found some more of my i love these dc millenniums there were 62 62 62 of these dc millenniums that were done um and i'm needing six i believe now to finish them all but this is Army at War 83, I believe it is. The first appearance of Sh Sergeant Rock. And then there's Shadow number one. So um, just a few left is all. And they're not any of the big hitters. You know, they're like um, Hellraiser, I think, is one. And a couple other ones. So um, this one, very happy to stumble across. Fantastic Four number 26. This is the second part of the Hulk thing crossover. And I believe it's the first time the Avengers crossover with the uh, Fantastic Four. And it might be the first all all crossover of the Avengers. So um, just a great cover, in my opinion. I love that cover for some reason. Um, and uh, yeah, extremely happy to have it. An early Fantastic Four, number 26. Uh, for a dollar, I found... League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, Volume 1, Number 2, just another. I love Alan Moore. I love Extraordinary League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. So a couple of Spidey Super Stories. There's Number 36 and Number 18. This one, I think, might be a double. So if anyone's interested, they can hit me up. All right. Um, found some adventure comics. We'll do... I'll do them this way, I guess. This is number 366 and 365, which is the first appearance of Shadow Lass, and then number 333. These three, they were so dirt cheap. I picked them up, and I knew they were doubles, but I'm hoping they're upgrades, but I will have doubles of these if anyone's interested but the two i was the most happiest about were these two here number um 305 and 311 does that show up okay yeah uh these two here finish my adventure comics run from 300 that featured the legion of superheroes until it ended i can't remember the issue for some reason but at that point it transitioned into supergirl and um so very i'm a big legion of superheroes fan i love legion of superheroes my one of my favorite teams growing up as a kid back in the 70s so it, just a big uh thing in my heart for these uh th this team so I'm um, very happy to have these and to finally finish that that uh, nice series. Now, speaking of adventure comics, too, some of you may not realize this, but at around issue 485, somewhere around there, until the early 500s, they actually went into a uh, digest format, which is these smaller ones right here. This is 492, I believe. 491 that is i believe and then oops they don't want to stay up very well 492 and 499 and they're all original stories too which is cool and then the last issue which is 503 this actually has a zatanna story in it if you're a zatanna fan um zatanna zatanna however you want to pronounce it but love these uh digest formats and whenever i can pick them up i will um so slowly getting closer to the fill in that run in um what else do we got let's see here all right well getting to the end i think all right so uh these are the last books here are the ones i was the most excited to pick up at the con the first one here is all-star western number 10. this is the first appearance of jonah hex uh boy this is a tough book to find and um so expensive i know um the jjf jj gorfield uh, I, I know I pronounced, butchered that, and please forgive me. He's a newer YouTuber. Uh, you might recognize him. He has a huge safe in the, the background of his, uh, where he shoots his videos. Most recently, which is so adorable, he has a son 
with him doing the, the unboxings and whatnot. He's a big J. Scott Campbell guy. Definitely pick him up. He's a uh, check him out. He's a great guy. Um, and uh, so Jonah Hex first uh, Jonah Hex All Star Western number ten. Next one I picked up. Uh, Green Lantern number six. This is the first appearance of Tomar Ray, uh, which is uh, in just an early, early Green Lantern appearance. So very happy. Number six. But if you get a number six, I guess you might want to have a number seven, huh? <laughs> now, if you don't know what that one is, first of all, shame on you. But this is the first appearance of Sinestro, number seven. Uh, in fact, I think he shows up on the first page, actually, even. But... um super super happy to have this book i mean you know i'm not a as you probably know i'm not a speculator at all i don't flip books i don't do any of that but if i were you know i if if i were in that game just like most of you i you, villains bad guys are not a good avenue to go down in that that particular <laughs> area they have short shelf lives especially when they're being pumped by movies and whatnot i mean look at silver samurai and um ajax and many many other ones um that were you know uh what was that uh malekith and on and on but always exceptions to every rule always bar setters to every uh component of uh of collecting and this would fall into that i mean there's other ones like the enchantress uh loki magneto green goblin lex luther joker on and on there's quite a few of them but this being one of those would be definitely one I would suggest investing into if you can get it at a reasonable price. But they had speculated that he's going to be in the uh, Green Lantern core movie. And with that being said, I mean, what was already a very expensive book just jumped again. I was very fortunate to, enough to get these books. So very happy about that. Um, this one. Woof. This one, this one, this one. Oh my gosh. I came across these next two books at the same dealer, and I couldn't believe that the one dealer would have these two books. Um, this one is Dreamwalker Zero. It's uh the first appearance of Goon. Um, now, uh, as I showed in my last video, I have the first prototype of Goon, which is best sellers. But now this is the actual first appearance of Goon, uh, where he's actually uh, called Goon and whatnot by Eric Powell. It's a four or five or six page uh, preview type of thing uh kind of similar to uh, um um the invincible one caliber presents that sort of a thing but this book is extremely sought after extremely hard to find i i think i've only seen one or two of these ever in a con uh they just don't come up all too often very very hard to find i don't know what the print run on this but i can't believe it was very high i know best sellers was a thousand this one can't be much more than that i want to say around three thousand i'm guessing hero hunter would probably know if he watches this um <clears throat> but yeah extremely happy to have this so now i've got best sellers i have this i have the avatar illustrated i have um avatar number one of goon not or uh, excuse me i don't have avatar i need the i have the albatross i need avatar if i can get avatar number one uh then i would have pretty much all the big keys of goon so uh happy 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 about that all right and then the last book here please don't laugh but you and you may not even recognize it but this book I, oh my god i'm so happy to finally i and i couldn't believe it i've only seen this book once in a con ever and they wanted 400 dollars for it this is rifleman number 10 and you may be like what on earth mike this is you know a uh, couple uh videos back i've shown i showed the um elf rape seal cover i showed the archie uh pearl necklace cover to the these are the double entendre covers that are very sought out and very sought after this is the uh holy grail if i can use that term of that this is rifleman number 10 as i said it's the wood issue and um <laughs> you can just look at the issue to, to kind of sink it in it's wrong on so many levels um chuck connors has been reported to say it was <laughs> one of the worst things he'd done but 
And if you look, I just watched a auction close on eBay just a couple days ago, this closed. In fact, I posted it on some Google Plus sites. This sold on a 4.0 raw for with shipping over $200. Um, they just are stupidly expensive, very hard to find. Uh, raw without auction, you can't find these for under $300 on eBay. I was extremely fortunate to be able to pay considerably less than that for these book, this book. And this is easily 4.0 in my opinion, if not better. I don't know. I can't grade. I don't want to grade. But oh my God, am I in Hero Hunter and Captain Strange Life. Um, boy, Hans, if you're out there, I haven't seen anything from you in a while. Uh, I hope things are going well for you. Would love to see another another bid from you, uh, Hans, Captain Strange Life. But those were the ones who introduced me to this book about three years ago, and sent, and it immediately went on my list. I've looked for it in, on eBay, never could find it at a reasonable price. Looked for it at cons constantly, never could find it. Very, very happy. And I, like I said, to, to find a dealer that had that and this, these two at the same booth is pretty, pretty hard and pretty rare. So was able to score those uh, very, very happy. So that's pretty much all of my con haul, right? You know, I picked up more, but th this was the highlight of it. Uh, the other stuff was just run filler stuff. Um, so I'm not going to bore you with that. So I want to thank everybody once again who purchased um, books from me on my recent sale. Helped me out quite a bit, and I hope you were happy with the books. I uh, try to represent them as best I can. Um, I, you know, if there's still quite a few left, if people are interested, they can still hit me up. But at this point, I'm just going to kind of tuck it away and save it for Fall Con and then add more books to it. Um, in fact, in this next few hauls, there's some great doubles that I picked up that'll be added to the box. So other than that, I'm just kind of rambling. This is Vin Cruz saying thank you so much. And uh, if it depends on when this video gets uploaded, uh, if it's before, please have a safe and happy Memorial holiday. And thank you to all the troops who sacrificed and made the ultimate sacrifice. And if it's after the holiday, I hope you were safe and had a great holiday with your family. Ben Cruz signing off.